Well, it's Saturday, December the 20th, 2014. I've just finished up a little enhancement to my new canoe. I've done several since I bought it here about six months ago. Let me show you what we did. We put a trolling motor on the new canoe. It's a 55 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor. And we sawed the head off of it and we've located the head up there next to the driver's seat. It's pretty easy to access your speed control. This particular motor has variable speed, which makes it a lot more efficient as far as the amount of time you can be out on the water off of a battery charge. I'm currently running two batteries. Um, the one up in the front is a Group 24 interstate battery. And the one in the back, along with the battery selector switch, is a U1 battery. It's a 35 amp hour battery. Now that we've got the trolling motor all set up and ready to go, I originally hooked up some cables to it and had foot pedal steering. I always had the idea that maybe I could incorporate electric steering into the new canoe and other watercraft. What I've done is install a electric steering for my kayak. This is controlled by a foot pedal system which I'll show you in a few minutes. It also has as a backup the cable driven steering. The steering system is powered by a low RPM, high torque motor. I had to make the drive wheel, the, the blue one with the spokes in it, and also uh, install a rubber tire that uh, drives against the upper plate. And there's also a spring on there that applies tension to the rubber wheel to the bottom of the plate and therefore drives it either left or right for steering purposes. The top drive plate consists of two pieces. The center piece actually clamps the drive plate to the trolling motor shaft. And then the top drive plate actually bolts to that locking plate. Very simple to install. Very few tools are needed. You can also see where we have the foot pedal system hooked up to the upper drive plate. That provides a backup in case your electronic steering would ever malfunction for whatever possible reason. This is where the cable drive system hooks up to your drive plate as a backup system in case you would ever need it. This is the backup foot pedal steering system.
one of the best things about this unit is it only takes two bolts to install it and it has a template that will allow you to drill those holes in your Minn Kota unit for the installation. Now we're going to give you a little demo of how the drive unit works. You can watch the little blue wheel or the top of the thing or you can watch the the prop but you'll see that it's turning left and right on my command. Now we're going to turn left. Now we're going to take it back to a neutral position. We'll stop it. Now we're going to go to the right. And then back to neutral. The put switch is spring loaded, so it's uh, uh, very easy to use. Also on the bottom of the foot switch, I've applied some anti-slip material so when you put the foot switch in the bottom of your canoe, that it won't slide around. It's um, very smooth operating and uh, I think this is going to be something uh, really nice for both uh, the kayak world and also any small boat that uses a Minn Kota transom mount trolling motor. I thank you for watching. This is my foot pedal system that I use to steer my kayak. I can either stand up and actuate the foot pedal to steer it or sit down, whichever I choose. Right, push here, and it goes left. I have the drive plate raised up temporarily just to show you the actual drive system. And this is your electrical connector. It powers the, the motor. Also, there is a spring to hold tension, the, the drive wheel to the upper plate. That pretty well wraps it up, and we're getting ready to take it out for some sea trial test and I believe everything will be fine. Thank you for watching.